everyone. Welcome you all for the series on Power BI. In this video, I'm going to discuss about how to create slicers. What do you mean by slicers? You can see the window here where you have two graphs. One is a pie chart which is giving an information about the total sales by region. And there is another graph which is giving an information about the total profit by each category. So now the question is, okay, we got to know that technology related products are giving highest product, I mean the highest profit. And in this particular thing, West region is giving highest sales. So that's what we got from these two graphs. That's what we understood. Now the question is, I want to know what is the total sales, uh, which region has got the highest sales in the year 2020 or in the year 2015? How do you get to know that? Do you think you'll create, uh, you'll filter data related to 2015, 2017, then you'll plot a graph? Not really, right? So in that case, slices are very important. Similarly, what if you want to know um, in which region With respect to which subcategory the sales is highest in different region, or like you know which category is giving highest profit in different region, how do you do all these analysis? So that's where we have a concept called as slicers. So creating slicers is very important uh, because like you can interact, you can make your graph interactive just by using slicers. You can choose different options and you can see the changes that happens inside your graph so that you can understand a lot of things regarding your data. And one more instance is, let's say we have like 50 states. So you can't plot graph for all states, right? Instead of that, what you can do, we have only two graphs here, but I can understand like, what is the sales? What is the profit made by, you know, uh, made in different region or different category with respect to different states. So I'll just create a slicer. I'll show you how to create a slicers with respect to our text first. So here is an option called as in slicer, just click on it. And what I'll do, I want to see, uh, I want to interact my graph with respect to a different state. I'll just drag and drop the sales into this particular slicer. So we call this as a slicer. You can see here, this is basically a slicer, which basically gives an information about all states. You can just slide this, you can just uh, scroll down. You can see the different states available related to this data. It's enough I want to know. Which particular region has given the highest sales in a California? I'll just select a California and look at the changes that you can see. It seems like West has given 100% uh, from California. And in California, office supplies related products has given the highest profit. Office supplies has given the highest profit and furniture has given the least profit in California. Similarly, let's say I want to know uh, which category is given the highest profit in Florida? I'll just select a Florida and see in Florida, sales happened only with respect to our technology and that in only our South region. It was like 100% sales and technology has given the highest profit compared to other categories. This is what you interpret from this slicers. Similarly, you can create a slicers for date. Uh, I'll just go to, a, I'll create one more slicer. So we'll create our date slicer. So I'll just drag order date into this particular field. So by default, it will give you a slider. You can select a uh, between like what from what specific date to what specific date you want our uh, sales or you want to uh, check conditions or you want to understand things. So this is one of one of the option. You can slide things. You can see the changes. You can see the changes. If you don't want the slider, what you have to do, if you want a drop down or there are a lot of ways to create a slicer, a lot of options for a slicer. So I'll just go to the format option. You can see here slicer setting. Under that, we have a style options. We have a lot of styles. I'll just go to a vertical list. What vertical list will do? It will give you the date, month, and a year. So I'll just go back to this. Uh, I don't want month. I want only the year. So I'll just see date hierarchy. So click on a drop down of this order date and just click on date hierarchy. So if you see just date hierarchy, it will show you only the years. It will show you only the years. And if you want a month, you can click on this drop down. You can see the quarters and then you can see month and then you can see the date. So this is how you create a, a date slicer. 
Now you can just interact with these things. Let's say I want to see like which category has given higher sales in the year 2017. I'll just select 17. You can see technology related products has given a very good profit in the year 2017 and in the year 2017 west has given higher sales compared to other regions what if i want to know with respect to 2014 see things changed even in 2014 west has given you the higher seats but office supplies has given a most profit compared to technology and furniture so this is how we create slicers and this is how we do analysis with respect to slicers you can do formatting, you can go to the format option and you can do a lot of formatting. Settings, headers, values could be increased or you can change the color, I mean color, font. A lot of things could be done with the help of this format option. I hope this is clear. Thank you. Happy learning.